Ever since I first began eating real foods, I've been a picky eater. I would eat the peas on my plate at home, but would turn my nose up at the peas at preschool. I've always loved Kraft mac and cheese, but I can never stand homemade mac and cheese. I was even picky about what type of water I drink. This caused a lot of tension between me and my extended family whenever we would go visit them. They often got annoyed when I chose not to eat certain foods they prepared and would try to force me to finish my plate before leaving the table. Karen Nordstrom suggests that one who may control another person's food intake holds certain power over them, and that by rejecting the meals my family prepared, I wasn't allowing them to have that power over me which caused that strain in our relationship. An article on the relationship between cults and food described how many cults use food as a tool of manipulation and control. And although comparing my family to a cult seems a bit morbid, I definitely used to feel manipulated and controlled when we had those big family dinners. It was one recipe that changed all of this. One night, my mom had told me we were gonna be trying a new meal, which as a picky eater immediately made me nervous. It was a recipe for Cajun chicken and noodles. And since I already knew I liked other types of chicken, I decided to give it a shot. It was delicious, filled with a bunch of new flavors and a creamy texture. And I loved it so much that we decided to start calling it Katie chicken. What's this chicken recipe called, mom? It's called Katie chicken. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> because of that reaction, I became much more open-minded to trying new foods. I found it to be true that more individualized eating like my own may make it more difficult for people to eat meals together because as soon as I had opened my mind up to other foods, it became way easier to have those meals with my extended family. They were less hostile with me when I was showing an effort to eat the food that they had prepared. The meals were now all about gathering people and nourishing life rather than having power over me. It's crazy to think that the whole dynamic between me and my family had shifted due to just one chicken recipe. Sometimes just a little change of flavor is all you need to change your life.